nation has seen 114,000 cases and almost 8,000 deaths, with rates still increasing. But despite this, and a health system under immense strain, the president continues to deny that there's a serious problem. Lives are precarious in Brazil's poor and violent favelas. But COVID-19 is a new kind of killer, weaving its way into these narrow streets. Social distancing isn't an option here, and authorities aren't around to enforce any rules. They're angry with how their president is dealing with this crisis. Bolsonaro is wrong. He tells people to go to work, then people die. And then he'll just say, another one died. Well, it's not my son. What he should say is, stay at home. Jair Bolsonaro isn't dubbed the tropical Trump for nothing. Just like his American idol, he's been railing against lockdown. As the crisis here escalates, so too does denial. Yesterday, Mr. Bolsonaro said the worst was over. Then came a record jump in the number of deaths. With families in the Amazon burying their dead in mass graves and public health systems on the verge of collapse nationwide, many who voted for him feel they were fed a lie. If Christ the Redeemer can't persuade devout Jair Bolsonaro to finally don a mask, nobody can. Katie Watson, BBC News, in Sao Paulo. They're digging mass graves in Manaus, the city with the unhappy distinction of being the worst affected in Brazil, the new coronavirus hotspot. But instead of supporting those burying the dead, Brazil's president is burying his head in the sand, the leader of the ostrich alliance. When told that Brazil now has more cases than China, he shrugs and makes a joke about his second name, Messias, meaning the Messiah. Lamento, <laughs> 